Hey, what's up, guys? Hayden Hun here, back with another video, and this is going to be a definitive video about the Michael Jackson loafers and the shoes that he wore through his career and how you can actually get one. Now, I have seen this question one too many times on Michael Jackson forums, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, anything and everything possible. And I thought, all right, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna be an active member of society. I'm gonna create a video about it and hopefully get some clout. But this is gonna be the definitive video of what type of shoes Michael Jackson wore? What are the brands that make the best Michael Jackson shoes, etc, 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 everything? This is the video that I'm going to talk about Michael Jackson shoes and we can do all those questions. I'm going to answer it in one huge video. So, grab the popcorn, strap your seatbelt in, we're ready to go. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands at the moment, but I'm just going to get rid of these shoes. And we're just going to talk to the camera for a sec. The shoes that Michael Jackson wore are Penny Loafers and the Flourishing. Most importantly in terms of the Florishum, the Como, and Como Imperial. Now, first and foremost, what is a penny loafer? Well, that's a good question, Hayden. I'm here to show you. So, in my hand, I've got a penny loafer. I'm gonna zoom into the camera so you can see much more closer in detail. All right, so this is the black penny loafer. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a rotate. This is what it looks like, the black penny loafer. Iconic silhouette. And, um, yeah, this is what the sole looks like. Mine's slightly different to some other penny loafers because I've actually worn the sole one too many times, so I had to resole this as well as the heel. Actually, I think I'm due in for a, a resole anytime soon. Now you're probably thinking, hey, why is it called a penny loafer? All right, first things first, in the 1940s, um, I'm gonna give you a bit of a history lesson here. Maybe 1940s, 1960s, college campuses in the US was going to put a penny in the lip of the loafer, donning its name, the Penny Loafer. That's just a brief rundown. The most iconic Penny Loafer brand is GH Batch, uh, is GH, is GH Bass with their um, iconic Lions Legions. Now, this is, uh, now, this Penny Loafer that I'm actually holding here is not a Legion, unfortunately. I would love to get my hands on a Legion, but this is just a Zara Men's Penny Loafer. So Michael Jackson always wore the Penny Loafers in black, but he actually wore a brown loafer variant. He actually wore a brown variant of the penny loafer when he's walking out of his car with his girlfriend, fun fact. Did you know that? So you can see that these penny loafers, they're mainly synonymous with the Dangerous World Tour as well as um, sometimes in This Is It, he actually wears these type of penny loafers when he's rehearsing. Overall, Michael actually wore this um, a lot in his life, actually, the Penny Loafer. This design, a very iconic shoe. If you see Dangerous World Tour pictures, especially pictures of his feet up close, they're actually um, the Penny Loafer design. Now, which brands did Michael Jackson use in terms of the Penny Loafer design? He used, like, a lot. <laughs> but the uh, top three or top four is uh, GH Bash Legions, the Flourish and Berkeley model, and Sabago, okay, it's three, Sabago. Uh, now you're probably thinking, Hayden, oh, when did he use Sabago models? He used the Sabago models in the 1993 Dangerous World Tour, as well as rehearsals for the 2001 Madison Square Garden uh, 30th anniversary concerts, but it's kind of weird because he used Florishims in the actual performance. I don't know why, but um, yeah, maybe it's just a choice. In terms of buying penny loafers, it's gonna be a loose around the ankle. So my top tip is, is to get the most tightest fitting on your shoe. So you'll be spinning around moonwalking without any hesitation of this actually falling off your foot. Let's get into the next shoe. All right, so the next shoe is we've got the Florisham. Now this, uh, if I could actually put it in the right direction. Now this is the Florisham model that he used in the Bad Tour, um, the History World Tour, as well as actually just every other tour or every other performance where he wasn't using the penny loafer model. Let's zoom in, let's take a look at this shoe. Now, this is what the Florisham shoe looks like. So the Florisham models that he used was the Florisham Como and the Florisham Como Imperial. The shoe that I've got is actually called the Florisham River. Now you're probably thinking, oh Hayden, you're using a different shoe. I don't care. No, I'm only kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't expose me like that. Um, so yeah, the shoe that I'm using is the Florisham River. I don't want to spend a lot of money on Florisham shoes, especially when I've got a perfectly good penny loafer there. I actually cop these shoes for $20. Crazy. And these, actually, these shoes actually go for 80 bucks a pop uh, in the actual website. 
and the flourish from Coburn and Comrades appears they're really expensive but I can understand why they're expensive because the build quality is insane I've heard from other people and um, yeah I see why. Okay, so let's talk about the flourish and uh, let's talk about the flourish and model. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a slideshow here. A shoe review channel. It's like an infomercial almost. Use the offer code Hayden likes Michael Jackson shoes for twenty percent off. So that's what the shoe looks like. Um, the difference between the flourish and coma and the coma imperial is this. So this metal buckle right here distinguishes between the flourish and coma and a Flourish and Coma Imperial. So this Flourish and Ribbon model actually has a rubber sole. I had to get this resold one too many times because the actual sole is crumpling. You can see on the heel, if it focuses, come on, focus. Focus for me, please. There we go. You can see that the heel was actually disintegrating. Uh, this is from the um, amount of spins that I do as well. As I just scuff it around the floor as well as the dance floor. And I actually wear these as my daily loafer in some cases. Um, overall, the leather feels really great, really supple. I could really take a beating out of these shoes. Only thing I hate about this is the sole. But if you buy the Como and Como Imperials, you won't be worrying about anything to be honest because it's got a leather sole, leather heel, and um, if Michael Jackson wore it and, you know, if he wore it basically throughout his whole lifespan performing and just doing everything, I mean, you can't go wrong. This is a really comfortable fitting shoe. Uh, only thing I hate about the Flourish and River, it's just the sole. Everything else, perfect. So when Michael Jackson would dance, he actually had a leather heel installed in the loafer. The shoes that he bought actually just have a leather sole straight out of the box, so that was pretty easy for him. And um, yeah, uh, he replaced the heel with leather heel and um, yeah, happy days. I haven't tried a leather sole or leather heel shoe in my life before when I'm dancing uh, because I actually use these shoes as my daily shoes when I'm going to uni, just doing walks and uh, just overall filming stuff. So I re I like... I prefer the rubber sole because it's much more durable in the things that I'm doing as well as um, yeah, it's up to personal preference whether you get a leather sole or a rubber sole. Hopefully, if I have enough money and uh, you know YouTube's gonna pay me in terms of ad revenue, I will buy my leather sole shoes. But uh, at the moment, rubber soles are much more cheaper, and um, I know a really good shoe repair person who um, gives me discounts when I um, get my shoes repaired. So that's pretty cool. Now you're probably thinking, Hayden, where do I actually buy these shoes? Well, there's two options, two very obvious options. So the first one is just look around in your local stores, you'll find, um, so looking around local stores you actually can see the difference between, you can see the different types of models that some shoe stores have to offer. Man, that's a tongue twist, jeez. So if you look around different shoe stores, you can actually see what type of stores offer different type of loafer models. Well actually two types of penny loafer models that I actually own but I actually use one over the other. So this is the first loafer model that I showed you, the, um, the penny loafer. You can see that this has a rounded toe, but if I just discard that away, I bring out this one, you can see that it's a very different welt. So this is actually more pointier. I'm not sure about toe, toe stands, but it could be painful. And the actual overall length is very different. There's also penny strip stitching on the side. I mean, this, we're just really nitpicking here, but the penny strip is actually different than the other one. But yes, whether you're in stores, just kind of check around, shop around, and um, see if they're actually genuine leather. Because uh, what I find is genuine leather is actually the best one out of um, you know the fake plastic leathers. Because actually, I actually had a loafer model where it was raining, and since it wasn't leather, it actually started to peel off and looks really ugly at the end of it. And secondly, is online. Oh, what a surprise! Do not buy the AliExpress or eBay alternatives that are especially Michael Jackson shoes because um, that's not made of real leather. It's 80 bucks as well as um, the, it, the sole looks like it's gonna fall off anytime soon and I've actually heard really bad reviews that the shoe actually falls apart within like two weeks or something so yeah just just avoid that if you are looking online go to Amazon eBay I don't know the actual shoe retailer itself look up these brands it's Sabago, Florsham or GH Bass Weijins Look, I know money is a conscious thing in today's society but uh, you know what this is why I'm broke too it's okay, I'll watch and cry together. Save a lot of money, I suppose. And um, you know, you're buying from a genuine brand that Michael actually wore. And um, I'm sure that you're gonna look pretty dapper when you wear them, when you're doing performances, all those groovy stuff. So yeah, that's the video about Michael Jackson shoes. Hope you enjoy, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, catch you around.